Hello lovely people, I'm uh, Michał Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement and I'm speaking from uh, Angkor Thum Temple in uh, Sem Reap in Cambodia. So uh, I will not just uh, enjoy uh, walking through the temple, but uh, also I will uh, give you beautiful uh, masterclass. So um, it would be about uh, love making. So tips for the love making, uh, how to make it better. So of course uh, the first one uh, I will speak about use it, don't lose it, sublimation method uh, to not lose the energy through love making. But to gain, uh, thankful this, uh, you can make uh, love for hours and you feel energized, uh, you nourish all your chakras, uh, you feel younger, you feel uh, healthier and more conscious, more spiritual. So yes, um, then um, I will speak uh, to you how to make love uh, more present so uh, you can be more conscious during love making, but also will help you to uh, master the use it and lose it method as well. Then um, I will speak uh, to you about uh, being in the conscious relationship how huge impact it has on your love making to become much better and so on and so on how emotions uh, are playing a big role in love making and then i will also speak to you about um, different ways of love making uh, yes that there are many uh, flavors many love uh, languages uh, uh, or uh, sexual love languages and uh, I will uh, just uh, go through a few tips uh, how you can make love uh, in much uh, um, more variable way in many other dimensions in many other directions and so on and so on what kind of tools like tantric massage you can use, uh, breath work uh, you can use the, to empower yourself, playing with uh, elements. Uh, so uh, all of this uh, I will speak to you uh, in this masterclass, probably many more, uh, so stay with me. And uh, uh, we walk through the Angkor Thum temple while I give you this uh, beautiful master class it's my first time so <laughs> i'm enjoying with you walking uh, and seeing beautiful things uh, sometimes we will stop while i'm talking and you can see what uh, is happening around Here, uh, mm -hmm. some message yes if you pause you can figure out what this is about <laughs> so Yes, let's uh, start. So use it, don't lose it method. Uh, it's the method uh, uh, what um, some people call it uh, non-ejaculatory mastery, but this is only half truth because uh, the woman also use, lose the energy through the clitoral orgasm, so it's good that they will also uh, master this. Um, so it's not only about non-ejaculation, but it's also about uh, not uh, losing the energy through the peak orgasm. So, yes, um, I will just explain you in many videos uh, I share uh, a lot about and there are many nuances, but I will just explain you that you uh, method that you can start practical aspects of it we talk about spiritual aspects etc etc uh, the aspects for the relationship how good it is how best therapist uh, how best gift in my life uh, it's this method so yes you can look at uh, my other videos here i will just tell you shortly how to do it so the intention is before the point of no return, the moment where the peak orgasm for sure will happen, you do this method. And uh, this method uh, contains three parts, what are uh, in the same time and they are interconnected with each other. So uh, 
the first part is uh, the PC muscle, the second part is uh, the breath, the third part is visualization. So PC muscle, it's uh, the muscle what you use to stop urinating. So the best way to experience it is to just uh, force yourself to peeing and uh, to stop peeing and then you will recognize exactly what muscles are you using and then when you know which muscles it is you train them uh, by squeezing uh, 20 times uh, per uh, approach and uh, you do three times a day and uh, then you add every day 10 more till you uh, reach 100 per times and in this way during one month when you continue like this you will make the muscle strong so the efficiency of uh, uh, shooting up the energy when you squeeze it would be much bigger much uh, stronger so uh, that's the point um, so um, with the squeezing the PC muscle you shut the energy up with the sucking the breath in you suck the energy up so uh, and then uh, you have the third component visualization and we imagine things because uh, the energy follows attention so uh, that's why we visualize, that's why we imagine things. So, uh, with, uh, so you can imagine how you like, uh, as uh, you uh, feel, you can imagine as a green light ball, you can imagine as a golden light, anything, stream of light, uh, some colorful liquid, anything. So now, all together with the breathing you tighten your PC muscle and you imagine that the energy goes from your genitals on the back of your spine to the level of the heart chakra and on the breath out relaxing the PC muscle imagine that the energy goes back to the genitals so um, you do this circle maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven times till you start to feel that you are far away from point of no return. In this way, this too much energy, what was ready to explode and to get lost uh, through the peak orgasm, through the ejaculation, you get this energy to your heart. In this way you are more loving, more connected with yourself, with your partner and what most important you are more connected, uh, what most important you are far away from the point of no return. So you may continue with lovemaking and till again you feel that you are coming closer to the point of no return you repeat the cycles and uh, in this way uh, you can continue like this again and again and uh, the time is passing by the ecstasy level is uh, much higher in the typical sex so you are having uh, much better experiences much better orgasms so um, yes um, and you are feel more energized after that so this is essential part of tantra you have to really train it uh, master it and then you will free yourself from running on desire love making will become uh, not a must but uh, a choice what is actually one of the best choice in this way tantric way uh, you will gain the energy so much then uh, you the, the, there is no more powerful technique than this uh, 
for me. If someone would found it, uh, I am willing to give all my belongings uh, for something more powerful. But uh, as far as I experience many things, all yogas, all uh, I'm Kundalini yoga teacher, and uh, all the medicine, plants, and whatever, I feel there is no more powerful thing that uh, this method. So uh, if you find something comparable, I'm giving you all my belongings. Uh, that's how I value this method, because I know it would be worth it if there is something comparable to this. So um, yes, uh, this is one way. Uh, this is essential. This is the best of this master class. So the other things what I would like to talk, it's uh, about uh, being in the conscious relationship, yes? So yes, um, fucking around, it's uh, maybe good for the uh, young fuck boys and uh, uh, girls uh, in the young age to discover their sexuality and so on and so on and so on. But when we like to get older, we would like to form the relationship, what have meaning. And the meaning of conscious relationship is to learn how to love better and doing it. So, so you practice basically this uh, path of Tantra, uh, or what it's about learning how to love better and doing it. So uh, that's why you master the use it, don't lose it method. That's why you um, will do also other things uh, to uh, empower yourself, to, to uh, be more in the present. So yes, to be more in the present, yes, uh, yeah. You may uh, uh, follow the one uh, very uh, nice advice, uh, actually from the Buddhists. It's uh, just observe your breath as often as you remember about that. You may combine it uh, with your PC muscle, uh, tidying your PC muscle, uh, but observe and be present and learn how to be present as much as possible. That's uh, yeah, all the purpose of meditation, uh, of any meditation, to stay focused on anything. You need to be focused. So uh, yes, uh, this is another golden advice after use it don't lose it method. Uh, uh, also, uh, with the use it, don't lose it method, yeah, maybe at the beginning you feel, oh, it's so complicated, but the Tantra is about being in the present and actually how I can be present if uh, I have to think about the technique, uh, how to do it. So yes, that's very truth, but remember, maybe you remember the kids' uh, time or some children are around you and uh, you may see them learning on the bicycle. And uh, yes, you can see it's very complicated. Uh, how to hold the stair, how to keep the balance, uh, how to uh, not to fall, how to not to look uh, at the pedal but on the street, uh, uh, how to break when you need it. So all those things are very complicated, but enthusiasm of child it takes him beyond the failures. Uh, so like, like you go with this enthusiasm. And now everybody can cycle, most of you at least. And uh, is it any difficult to cycle? Um, no, it's, uh, it's not. You can do it without thinking, yes? So uh, it will become your nature after training uh, uh, many times. So, um, yes, uh, I'm showing you in the meantime this beautiful table, <laughs> what is taken over by the nature, but it's so amazing, so beautiful. So, uh, yes, uh, it's uh, um, living my dream that I can give you the class uh, in this temple <laughs> in the future, uh, probably we would be able to give uh, Tantra in many temples on the world, what will transform uh, religion into whatever, into believing and practicing uh, love, uh, because this is the biggest religion 
or whatever there is. And the, all the religions in the end, they are all about that as well. So, uh, yes. Um, um, uh, to be present, uh, it's very important to be uh, not uh, ruled by your emotions. Uh, uh, it's very often the emotions have very huge impact on uh, our presence. Uh, when we are triggered by something, uh, we cannot stop thinking about it. We are uh, sometimes uh, so angry that, yes, we uh, are there or we are in some grief, we are there. Yes, we have to let it out, let it out, express yourself, let it out and let it go. Uh, this is the way how you deal with the emotions. Uh, we learn in Tantra to release them, that uh, they are not stored in our body, in our beings, but uh, we let them go and then in this way they are not accumulating and they are not taking over in the moments where uh, we need presence. Uh, so yes, uh, the other thing, don't bombard yourself with the news. Uh, too much information, it means you are too much in the head. So uh, get your head out, do some meditation before love making, uh, get yourself in the presence and uh, enjoy, focus on enjoyment. Uh, uh, enjoy uh, every moment of this beautiful ritual, enjoy every second on this uh, uh, beautiful body uh, making love with you. <laughs> so adore the woman, uh, worship her as a goddess. Uh, this will bring you to the presence and that's also sublimate actually the energy as well help you to bring it to the heart uh, being in the heart being in the love uh, so open your heart uh, uh, being close to your emotions especially the sadness uh, grief uh, crying out the things uh, it uh, really helps especially men to open up to his heart so um, Listen to your heart, let your emotions be alive and uh, be present uh, in the moment, let it out, let it go. And then they will not bother you when you are in the lovemaking, when you would like to be in the lovemaking, yes? So also, the too much news, it's uh, uh, too much news, too much in the head. So get rid of the TV uh, and newspapers. Uh, uh, get rid of uh, scrolling on the Facebook. Uh, yes, uh, this um, one message spirituality is very shallow very often, so go for the deeper teachings, what coming out from the heart, not from the smartness or smartphones <laughs> or whatever. So, uh, yes, uh, be present. So, uh, another thing, uh, uh, about the conscious relationship, yes, being present is being conscious, yes, so, so uh, conscious relationships, uh, when uh, there is love, uh, actually this, I di even discovered uh, after my first sexual approaches when I was very young, even not knowing uh, what Tantra means, um, I uh, discovered if there is no love, the sex is very shallow. It's not comparable when there is love. Uh, I could not see, like, wow, how people can make love without, like, how people can make sex without making love, like, without being in love. It's, uh, it's a, it's a, um, maybe quick fix, but it's uh, not comparable. When you are in love, uh, there's another dimension. So, so that's amazing. Uh, to experience this uh, in such a young age, but also like, yes, uh, um, pay attention. So be in love uh, with the person who you make love, always. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, uh, you know, every connection, it brings you to the oneness more, uh, to the godliness, uh, being one. So every connection you make, uh, it's uh, uh, make your life more, uh, efficient. Um, we say in Tantra uh, one plus one in the conscious relationship, in uh, the uh, tantric love, in Tantra 
it's uh, not only one, two, it's uh, actually multiplying, it's a uh, little word to express it. So, 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 yes. Uh, be in love, that's important. Be in conscious relationship. And yes, in this way also, yes, you learn how to use the triggers uh, to grow through spiritually, uh, to recognize them and not to be triggered and triggered by the same thing again and again, but uh, finally to learn uh, um, to do things differently. So, so to uh, not repeat the same mistakes. If you see the things are repeating in your life all the time, uh, maybe from relationship to the other relationship, don't think that uh, changing to the relationship, uh, it will uh, let you escape this loop. Uh, probably you will meet the same triggers in the other relationships. So uh, find the ways to learn how to uh, grow through this, uh, uh, how to heal your wounds uh, uh, and how to uh, become more conscious being uh, and uh, being in conscious relationship where both partners uh, are uh, aiming for it and uh, they are recognizing the triggers and they using all different methods like Tantra and others uh, to uh, grow through the triggers instead of repeating the same mistakes. This also makes your life much more uh, beautiful and that also makes your love making amazingly beautiful. So you see, Tantra is not just about uh, making love. Love making is not just about uh, sex. Uh, it's all about healing, liberating yourself uh, from the conditionings, what we didn't choose. It's um, expanding in love. So you are learning how to love better and growing in ecstasy. Then you can have actually the higher ecstasy uh, that can uh, bring you to the higher levels of consciousness, that can motivate you to the better life, that can fill up your passion, fill up your love to the people, and so on and so on. Another thing, uh, what um, you can uh, also uh, bring to yourself uh, and to your love making. It's like uh, as more good you are for the others, especially for your partner, than uh, more uh, um, good you feel about yourself. So this love, uh, it's uh, coming back as a love uh, to yourself. Uh, always when you do good things to others, you don't only do it for them, uh, but you actually do it for yourself because uh, your self-confidence, uh, self-esteem, self-love, uh, it's increasing. So, yes, uh, uh, always do good, especially for your partner. The one of the best thing in lovemaking, uh, I have to say, like it's uh, not uh, the best cosmic orgasms and so on. I even, I love all these different types of orgasm but it's actually seeing uh, your beloved eyes happy, satisfied, uh, full of gratitude uh, after lovemaking and knowing that uh, you actually uh, uh, gave them this, you influenced this happiness. So this is one of the best heaven on earth I am experiencing and I'm happy to experience it as uh, often uh, as maybe every day. So that's the purpose of my life, and that's also what empowers my life in the big time. So, um, yes, we use it, don't lose it, all those methods. So, uh, yes, uh, also, yes, I was saying about the so-called, uh, you heard probably five uh, love languages. Uh, and uh, yes, um, there are also uh, five uh, love making uh, languages, uh, and uh, yes, there are different flavors, different ways of love making. You can use also different tools for love making. You can use, of course, tantric massage, what is uh, more sensual, more. Uh, 
sexual, more uh, beautiful, more intimate. Uh, it's like we call it lover's massage even. Uh, when you are with your partner, you can use tantric massage for foreplay, after play, uh, um, middle play, yes? Uh, so, so whenever you feel uh, you are uh, already um, uh, want to change something just change something yes so 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 the massage is great thing also another beautiful tool uh, to take you uh, further deeper more beautiful it's uh, the um, breath work uh, so if during the love making when you start to do the breath work it also can be the way to supplement the energy so before the point of return but maybe uh, a bit uh, earlier than too late because too late is game over you can do the breath work and in this way yes uh, you can um, actually bring the energy up to your higher chakras to your heart to your other aspects of life so um, another thing uh, is uh, the uh, other ways of love making. So, so uh, you know, uh, it's like when we are uh, addicted from sex, we used to chase uh, desires, uh, running on desires, uh, and uh, I call it chasing the rabbit. Uh, like uh, you know, we are addicted from sex, and we. Uh, want more, more, and more, and uh, nothing is satisfying us because, uh, uh, yes, it uh, always ends up uh, in the best moments without us having the control. So tantric love making it gives us this uh, uh, opportunity to have satisfaction, to choose when we actually are overwhelmed by love making, and we feel like okay, that's enough. Yes. So in this way, we are uh, uh, satisfied, and we. Uh, Feel uh, the uh, love making, uh, yes, uh, because we are satisfied, we do not have to run on desires. It's like when you have abundance, imagine uh, how much uh, the best shamanic, organic, uh, um, yummy, uh, fair trade, vegan, uh, raw chocolate you can eat. Uh, it's so, even if it's so good in some moment, you will feel abundance and you will feel, yes. Uh, uh, fulfilled and you will feel uh, no I don't need uh, anymore so then uh, yes the same with uh, uh, tantric love making you feel so much abundance then in some moment you will just not feel uh, uh, that you need more and more and more you, that you don't need to run on desires like people who are doing yoga they don't do yoga because they run on desires. They do yoga because they know it's healthy, it's uh, good for their mind, and so on and so on. It's good for their body. They will feel better. They will gain time, not lose the time. So the same thing with uh, tantric love making. You will start to do it out of choice because you will know that you are feel good. It's very good for your relationship. It nourish all your chakras. <laughs> and so on and so on so yes you will make it from the choice and yes you will make that choice because uh, it's one of the best choice of uh, life uh, so so yes you will make that choice but you will not uh, run on desires and when you do not run on desires when you are free actually from uh, that addiction through the uh, mastering the use it don't lose it and 49 the challenge what is connected with it you will uh, realize that uh, yes you uh, all the choices of love making you can do it out of choice so uh, you are not a bdsm freak or kinky freak or a spiritual freak when you use all those flavors you just uh, um, doing it to expand your uh, uh, level of uh, different flavors about love making. So, yes, you will uh, do the, them uh, from that perspective. So, so uh, this is important to first master all of those and then start to uh, uh, use another flavors of love making because all those flavors it's like uh, yes uh, going uh, jumping from the cliff and if you don't know how to swim uh, it uh, may be uh, challenging uh, so yes um, 
we have uh, like um, tantric BDSM where we talk about it more and so uh, we have uh, like the breath work uh, used in the tantric love making we have uh, another uh, flavors like king ta conscious king uh, etc etc we have changing of the polarities uh, it's very important uh, that's why it's uh, when you are not uh, addicted from sex then you are also more flexible to change the polarities to not to be stuck with one of the um, flavor of it and actually you don't do it because you have to chase on desire that you have to go for harder king, more harder BDSM, etc. But you actually do it because uh, you want to explore, expand, and maybe you can also even heal to it, it uh, many things. So, um, yes, uh, many people uh, may feel uh, connection to energetical sex uh, so it's like the full body orgasm without touching we teach this on one of the aspects uh, of uh, our tantra massage uh, online or uh, uh, in person course well, you can feel um, also yes uh, uh, the breath work uh, the tantra kriya yoga breath or uh, doing kudiana banda during the love making uh, uh, so, uh, yes, those things uh, are uh, very powerful when you use it. Uh, so, uh, uh, all those uh, are different flavors. Sometimes people have uh, different uh, uh, preferences to different flavors. But, uh, yes, w as again, when you are uh, mastered the use it, don't lose it method, you are not anymore attached to any of those flavors. Actually, you can experience them any way, any how, whenever you feel. And it's not like every day you have to do it. Sometimes it may happen once a month or whatever. And uh, yes, in this way, uh, yeah, you just um, enjoy the lovemaking with your partner without being pushy, without uh, craving for something, without uh, uh, being needy, clingy to the per partner, etc., uh, etc. Et yes? So all those things, yes, it's good to know. It's good to know about your partner, what their preferences. Then you can also, like in the five love languages, speak uh, to them the language what they appreciate uh, the most. Uh, and remember, uh, Loving someone is not giving someone what you think it's the best for them, but loving someone is giving someone something what they feel is the best for them. And I guess on this beautiful sentence uh, I will finish this beautiful uh, masterclass. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, see this beautiful temple. Uh, one more time with me. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, discovering it with me. It's my first time and I have to go in 10 minutes. So uh, I gave my time to give you that uh, beautiful wisdom. Uh, so use it, don't lose it. Uh, stay connected, share love uh, with this video, pass it further. Uh, many people can be awakened and get better life uh, through the practice uh, what uh, we offer here and uh, eye gazing it's also a very beautiful way to connect uh, before love making especially just looking to each other's eyes into the left eye of the person in the way that uh, you can see the background what is in the background thank you very much for your attention i love you all Aho.